but you can tell it yeah, how we so got this pace that's also a lesson in business because i think what we did there was quite fantastic like i'd not <laughs> thought about it yeah from that perspective but anyway this is what happened so we normally shoot a podcast uh, in lovington uh, where we're currently shooting this podcast and you we are coming in to just intro media shout yeah, out at mm. Exactly. Caleb is better at doing those things. <laughs> so yeah. shout out to True Media though. So we were coming to shoot a podcast. And when we were shooting the podcast, we noticed that the next space to them was quite uh, it was actually empty. So we tried to inquire, okay, how much is rent here? Uh, how much do you pay? Uh what is the process? And the guys who are at True Media told us, no, we can't answer all those questions, but what you can do is you can give you the number to the caretaker. Mm-hmm. You talk with him. Yeah. So we call the caretaker, he comes in, he tells us this space is this much, so I won't tell you the amount obviously. The space <laughs> is this much obviously. and we're very excited because it's within the budget that we were looking for. Yeah, because prior to that we had scouted offices in Westlands. Yeah, we had scouted a couple. Yeah, yeah. Town, we went to Prism Towers. We went yeah. to a couple we of places. We went to many. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very many places. And this Actually, places anyone exist. who watches our stories will have noticed because mm. I remember a couple of people asking me, already looking for another office. Exactly. But I remember anyway. in town we went to that NSSF building, the one above uh, the Nakumat that used to be in town. Yeah, yeah, Nakumat. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. That's, we had locked that place. We said, this, this is this the, the place, place we want. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, so... The next day we decide okay we'll take up the space and we call up the management of the building and we decide we're going to take up the space. Uh so they tell us the process, how much you need to pay for us to book the space and we're intact, we're going to do it. Uh then three, four days later, I was actually the one who was in contact with that person. I call him and I just tell him, okay, I wanted to do the payment and they tell me no 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 no. Unfortunately, you can't do the payment because the space has already been taken up by someone else. Or someone else is in the pipeline of taking Yeah, there's someone the else who wants to take it. Yeah. And for us we wanted to take the space, destroy the partitions that were there. Now the other person wanted to take the space with the same partitions. So <laughs> the the management was like, you guys are coming to destroy the building. So why should we give it the space to you and there's someone else who's going to use the space the way it is mm-hmm. if you've taken leases for buildings you know how those things work if you've not <laughs> basically when you come into a building you can do adjustments but when you leave you have to leave the building how you found it so that was the challenge so after that we just hung up the phone and decided okay it's okay but then three days or four days later we came again for a podcast and i remember we were just with lawi on that specific space we were just the two of us there And as you were talking Lavi told me uh, by the way, what what do you think what if we decide to outbid this guy because this other guy is paying this much and us we think we can bid higher for the office mm, price war yeah price war so it's like a price war so what we decided was let's call up this guy immediately and tell him you know uh, this guy is bidding this much but us we can bid this much so what's bid higher. Yeah. yeah we bid higher so i called this guy and told him hey hi how are you uh, has the other person paid unfortunately uh she had not paid so what i told her what i told the person is it was um, a she by the way it was a she. Okay. she it was a she was to take up the space yeah so i told the management okay what if we bid up this much high and i really jumped high <laughs> i never just jumped i jumped high it was like a a wall that you couldn't and this guy was just like no 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 you don't even really need to jump Go that, that high, high. <laughs> let's take it a bit lower let's take it a bit lower if you can hit this number the space is yours and we told him we'll hit that number monday we'll give you the payment so they sent us the detail the details and on monday we did the payment and that's how we actually got that space so it was that much we conviction for the for you our followers for the, exactly <laughs> you fight for it so every time you're told no just think about okay is this really a no or is this something that i can walk over and go to the other so side so not all knows and knows exactly yeah, true, true, true. Uh, especially in business you need to know how to uh out as can kind of saying like out like beat your competitor yeah. you can't beat the next person competing with you beat on the same product beat on the same floor beat probably your business <coughs> uh cause but still says competition is for losers yeah mm. if this guy beats you of course you've lost yep and mm. i think like us uh, now deciding to do that bidding war and um uh, winning probably, yeah winning that was a good business lesson because someone else was, ah it's gone yeah. and uh, Because um, adding on what you're saying, you did a bidding one, you won. It's it's more of teaching you how you won't get everything on a silver platter. Yep. Yeah, like Sometimes like you, have you, you might have the connections, you might have what it uh, you're given, but 
um there's some things you have to really fight for yep. Yep. you fight you for. you won't just okay because it's can because he's he's known by this person you, you get my point yeah. yeah so some things you just have to fight for and go for it head first like mm. not don't think much because if you started thinking much about it, it will be like ah can you know for this we can go cheaper and get another place yeah. mm. you know there's some things if you really believe in it and you can see that vision and the good thing is like you were saying can uh, one of the lessons you shared the uh, having the three of us being together is that we are always on the same thought process, process. um we're thinking the same we're thinking yes we have to expand we're all thinking yes we have to expand we're thinking this is what we need to buy these are the equipments we need we might define a few things but the general big picture we're all aligned we're together yeah. and and in that in that case um of, on for you can what do you, why 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 do you think we really needed to scale up why why are we scaling up why 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 is the company coming to this point um why did we fight for the office and all that So if you enjoyed that short clip and you want to watch the full podcast, click right here. If you want to get a tour of our office, click right here. And please like and subscribe.